my mom had a dream. And in the dream, there was this beautiful building and it was filled to capacity with people there to just worship. And she saw a rainbow over the building, signifying God's promise. And during that same time, a board member at the time had a vision and he could see that if we were able to purchase this property, there would be like a bridge between the church property and the high school. And kids and leaders and people from the church would just be going back and forth seamlessly because we were going to be a light in our community and a light to the surrounding schools. When I was 10, my parents decided to accept the pastorate of a church in Punta Gorda, which was then First Assembly of God. It was a small little church. So we moved our family to Punta Gorda and my parents pastored that church for the next 22 years. So a couple of years after moving, they decided as a small congregation that they wanted to take a huge step of faith and purchase 10 acres of property and build a building where they could grow and expand as a church. So that is what became Abundant Life Assembly. And that is the current building that DC3 actually meets in now. So we were in that building for 20 years. And during that time, my parents, my brother and I, my whole family, we just poured our entire lives into the ministry. We poured our whole selves into the church, into discipling people and raising up people and into the ministry, serving our community. And over some time, it became apparent that we weren't going to be able to stay open as a church any longer, that we were going to have to close Abundant Life. And I just remember all these years, 20 plus years, pouring out, giving, serving. And one day I came in the building and I just remember walking the floor and it was the last day that I was going to be able to be in this building, the last day that I would be able to walk these floors and pray as I had done for two decades. And I walked the floors and I said, God, why does it have to close? Why do we have to stop? After DC3 moved into the building, uh, my mom drove by one day and she left a note for Steve and Sarah. And she just wanted to express to them how glad she was that this became a church, that they were able to come in and be a part of the fulfillment of the years of labor and dreams and prayers and visions that we had had as a family. About a year and a half later, Eddie and I felt called to attend a different church, Deep Creek Community Church. And I thought, God, I know we're called to this church. Like, I know we're called to be here, but this is honestly the last place I wanna be right now. But nonetheless, we were called. So we came and we attended and we sat in the chairs Sunday after Sunday for an entire year. We would come on Sunday, sit in the chairs and leave. And Pastor Steve spoke a message. It was in a series called CrossFit. And he handed out cards and he asked everybody to write something on the card that you needed to leave at the cross. And to be honest, I don't even know what I wrote on the card. Couldn't even tell you but I brought my card to the front steps, but I couldn't just walk away. I fell down at the steps and I just kind of melted into this puddle of tears. And I just poured it all out to God in the grief for everything that I felt like I had lost and my family had lost and all the dreams that had died. And when you have a dream that's birthed in your heart, you think, okay, I'm gonna see this. Like, I'm gonna see this come to pass and it's gonna happen like this. It's gonna be seamless, we're gonna see it, we're gonna step out in faith. But it's not necessarily that way because God has such a bigger plan and such a bigger purpose. And it's His kingdom and it's His work. It's not about any particular church that I might be involved in. It's not about any particular work that I might be doing. If I step out in faith, God's promises are true. So I may never see those things come to pass exactly like I thought they would, but they will as a part of his kingdom. And so when I sit here now, 
And when I see a building full of people worshiping God, service after service after service on a Sunday, and I'm like, if this isn't vision coming to reality, I don't know what is. This is such a privilege to be a part of all of the years of the prayer and pouring into and giving that my family did. And even though they didn't get to see this dream become a reality, I get to be here and I get to see this and experience this and just get a little taste of everything that God had in mind through all those years. And it's not over yet because there's so much more that he has in mind. And again, it's his kingdom, it's his work, it's all his. So it's all for him and for his glory. And that means more to me than probably I could ever express in my words.